Guys, we're going up. Ooh, oh yeah, baby. Smell a moon dust. Hey everyone, this is uh, the OG coming to you live from Berlin, Germany, guys. It's uh, it's uh, like 8, 10 p.m. here in Germany. And uh, a lot of you are probably wondering what the heck is going on with Bitcoin? What's going on with Dogecoin? Dogecoin is down uh, like 9%. It's at uh, 15, just, uh, just about 15.5 cents at uh, time of recording. And we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin right now is also down, 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 down about 64,000. So, we shed it a little bit out there so i'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm kind of gonna tell you what is going on uh, i know a lot of you are kind of probably panicking wondering omg what the heck is going on well it's pretty typical we've had this uh we've had a really big pump uh for the last couple of days uh you know bitcoin almost went up to like sixty-eight thousand and change uh, attempted to attempted to hit the all-time high and uh you know what happened is very simple market makers came in if you take a look at the charts you'll see that uh, there's a hunter wick to the upside to the downside so they basically want to take as much liquidity out of the market as possible and how did that they had a hunter wick that is what happened so what you're seeing right now is pure manipulation uh for bitcoin Bitcoin has dropped uh, significantly. We're seeing that Dogecoin is down almost 9%. So I wouldn't worry about it too much uh, out there. Uh, so this is just, you know, pure manipulation. Market makers want to take liquidity out of the market. They want to wreck all the longs. They want to wreck all the shorts. So that is fundamentally what is going on. Uh, the markets are probably going to, you know, probably going to reset uh, for the next couple of days. It's probably going to reset. You're probably going to see a sideways consolidation uh, out there, and uh, that's what's going to happen. So. I wouldn't, I would not be, uh, don't panic about it. We're going to continue to go up. So uh, I am anticipating probably by, uh, you know, today it is, uh, it is uh, like freaking Tuesday here in, uh, in uh, Berlin. Uh, uh, so you can probably expect uh, probably, probably by Monday, uh, you know, we're going to see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The markets are going to consolidate. There's going to be less uh, less action happening, uh, less volatility, and uh, things will go up. Uh, probably on Monday, we'll probably see that Bitcoin will hit all-time highs again. Uh, probably on Monday, because uh, basically the market makers they need to, they need to, they need the liquidity. They need to take your liquidity out there. So that's once again, do not forget leverage trade. If you're leverage trading, you just get, you're just going to get wrecked, wrecked, wrecked out there. Uh, so that's that's what's going on out there. So I'll just fixing my collar. Just almost that uh, my collar is all 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 askew out there. So yeah, we're seeing that the market makers taking a uh, ton of liquidity. A lot of shorts got wrecked. A lot of longs got wrecked. Uh, News-wise, we did see that uh, Coinbase uh, did crash. Uh, people were, like checking their portfolio, and they kind of like overloaded uh, the market, overloaded their system, not the market. Uh, so that is also one of the reasons why we're seeing a little bit of a dump ski because uh, people thought like, oh, well, what's going on with Coinbase? Nothing happened with Coinbase. Uh, News-wise for Dogecoin, nothing much is happening with Dogecoin out there. Uh, it's just kind of doing its thing. The reason Dogecoin is dumped is because Bitcoin is dumped. There's no nothing fundamentally wrong with uh, Dogecoin. Nothing fundamentally wrong with crypto. Basically, it is it is leverage traders out there, and the market makers are basically taking liquidity out of the market. That's why they wreck the longs, they wreck the shorts out there. So there's a bit of a long squeeze going on right now. So that is why we're seeing a lot of uh, liquidity moving out of the market uh, to the exchanges out there. So uh, fundamentally, still those things are good. We got the Bitcoin ETFs are still fantastic. They're looking peachy, thinking keen out there. Uh, we're seeing that the more uh, Bitcoin spot ETFs are being uh, purchased as being mined. So that's good. We're also seeing that uh, right now, uh, in, in in terms of uh, you know Bitcoin, there's going to be a huge supply shock out there. Uh, and keep in mind that Bitcoin spot ETFs it allows uh, you know all these trading houses, all these uh, you know advisory uh, houses to basically start to sell. 
Bitcoin. Uh, and that uh, that's going to bring a whole ton of money into the market, guys. It is freaking huge. It is freaking huge. We're, we're, you know, we're less than like about 46, 48 days away from the next happening. So, guys, uh, having a little bit of a choppy to chop, having a little bit of a downside is very freaking normal out there. Um, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here in, uh, in, 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 in Berlinsville. Berlinsville. Uh, out there, it's been... It's been a crazy day. I was at ITB Berlin and uh, crazy. I mean, transportation here is like, uh, it's like freaking insane. Can you imagine? It cost me 75 euros to go eight freaking, eight freaking kilometers. Like, like, what the? I, I said the word. I said the app bomb. Drop an app bomb out there. So that's what's going on. Guys, uh, you know, I see this dip uh, for Bitcoin. It's an opportunity. I mean, uh, I, I, when I saw this dip, I actually went and bought more, more Dogecoin, I uh, bought more Bitcoin. Uh, that's what I did. Uh, because I know that, you know, we're going to see $100,000 Bitcoin coming in freaking soon, guys. Absolutely $100,000 Bitcoin coming in. And it's going to come in. It's going to come in. And it's going gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna to freak people out because we're going to definitely see 100000 Bitcoin. Uh, and we did go as almost as high as 20 cents for, for Dogecoin. We have come down a little bit. We're like 15, 15, 15 8, 16 uh, cents for, for Dogecoin. Don't worry about it. You know, with this little bit of liquidity, uh, you know, the liquidity drained by the market makers, uh, things are looking still looking pretty good from my perspective out there. So uh, don't worry about this little bit of a dump ski. This dump ski is just, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Things will definitely be going up uh, soon. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried. Out there, the only thing I'm worried about is I'm tired. Lack of sleep for OG out there. So I'm just bringing the news, guys. So one, don't freaking panic. This is market makers manipulating the market. That's all that is to it. Uh, things are gonna go up. We're gonna see a huge freaking pump coming uh, by the end of uh, by, by Monday. By Monday, things are gonna go up. So yeah, this is a casual video, just kind of. Maybe even a rat, you can call it a rat here in Berlin, out there, Berlin, the guys. So be blessed, be well. I love you guys. Uh, let's try to bring you guys. So don't panic. Don't freaking panic, guys. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Don't panic, guys. And remember, only remember, take profits. When you're up 100%, sell 50%. When you're up 200%, uh, take another, another 50%. And guys, you know, don't be emotional about crypto. Don't be freaking emotional, guys. Just think about where we were three months ago with Bitcoin. You guys should all be happy right now. I'll see you in the freaking next one. Peace out.